Example 13. Find the general solution of dy over dx plus 2 over xy equals 1 over x minus 1. For this differential equation, it is not with separable variables. It is obviously seen that the second term, which we have here 2 over x times with y, when the x and y variables are in multiplication form, these variables uh, cannot be separated. So, here we need to use integrating factor method. First of all, we need to check if this equation fits the standard form of the first order differential equation. For that, we start with dy over dx plus 2 over x times y equals 1 over x minus 1. We compare this with, compare this equation with the standard equation, which is dy over dx plus p of x times y equals q of x. So, here we go, where we have dy over dx as the derivative with coefficient 1. That's good enough. Next, we have y as the dependent variable. So, in the second term, we have y here. Therefore, the 2 over x is called as p of x and the function 1 over x minus 1 is can be compared with q of x. So now we can conclude that p of x is 2 over x as coefficient of y as we seen here and q of x is 1 over x minus 1. So we have settled our first step. Next, what we will do here now is we will be starting with finding the integrating factor. Integrating factor which written as v of x. So finding v of x is exponent to the power of integral of the function px dx. We will have exponent to the integral as the power the function px as we identified earlier which is 2 over x with respect to x. So this is exponent to the power of 2 ln modulus x as the answer. And simplification of this will give us x squared. Now, if you still remember, our next step must be multiplying the Vx with the current differential equation which is already examined if it is in standard form. So, we are going to multiply V of x with the de. Every single terms of the differential equation must be multiplied with Vx. Therefore, x square need to be times with dy over dx plus x squared times 2 over x times y equals x squared times 1 over x minus 1. The left hand side of this equation is actually product rule for the derivative of the vx times y. So we can combine or simplify the left hand side of the equation as d over dx vx times y equals to the right hand side of the equation which is still x square over 1 minus 1 over x minus 1. So here d over dx our vx vx is x to the power of 2 multiplied with y equals x square over x minus 1. Next is the integration. Next is the integration. So, when we integrate both sides of the equation with respect to x, integral of d over dx, x square y, dx, 
as well as integration of x square over x minus 1 dx. So this what gives us x square y and we will have the integral of x square over x minus 1 dx on the right hand side. Now, in order to proceed further, for this question, we need to integrate the function x square over x minus 1. So, first, we examine x over x minus 1. x over x minus 1 is an improper function. This improper fraction need to undergo a long division. So, if we perform long division for this question, we will have x square plus 0x plus 0 divided by x minus 1 as the divider. So, here x if multiplied with x minus 1 will give us x square minus x. So, when we subtract, this will give us x square minus x which is 0 and 0x minus negative x becomes positive x plus 0. So positive x when we compare with our divider x minus 1. Here we must have plus 1 as the quotient. So 1 times x minus 1 will be x minus 1 and if we subtract this we will have 1 as the remainder. So now, x square over x minus 1 can be written as the quotient x plus 1 plus a remainder 1 over divisor x minus 1. Well, once we have x square over x minus 1 in this form, we rewrite the integral. Now, x square y equals integral of x square over x minus 1 can be changed into integral of x plus 1 plus 1 over x minus 1 dx. So, this function need to be integrated and it is quite easy. So, x square of y equals integration of x is x square over 2 integration of 1 is x plus 1 over x minus 1 is ln modulus x minus 1. Do not forget the constant c. So here, if we try to make y as the subject, then we will have the general solution, the whole right inside expression is divided by x squared. Then we will have y equals 1 over 2 plus 1 over x plus ln modulus x minus 1 over x square plus c over x square as the solution.